sexual high. But are they telling you the whole story about herbal ecstasy? Tonight we finish our two-part close-up on this alleged passion pill. Ted Chen is here with more. Ted. Carol and Kim, we've gotten a lot of calls on this and natural food stores have gotten a lot of calls about herbal ecstasy since our first report aired last night. Herbal ecstasy is not yet available in most stores, but before you think about buying, think about what you'll be getting. Uh -huh. We're wasting precious time. Don't talk, kiss. It promises to make sex sexier, and the fact that it's legal and herbal has made herbal ecstasy irresistible to hundreds of curious young San Diegans. It gives you a really rush good feeling, so everything feels good internally and externally. So you're really going to feel lovey-dovey in the bedroom. Uh, it makes you horny as a horn dog. How about that? <laughs> But some experts say herbal ecstasy can be dangerous. It's, it's quite a concern when people would be taking something and they really don't know what they're taking. What they're taking is a combination of herbal stimulants, the strongest of which is Ma Wong. Ma Wong is a source of ephedrine, an amphetamine-like chemical. It does increase the pulse, it does increase the heart rate, it does raise the blood pressure. Herbalist Julie Plunkett says Ma Wong should not be used recreationally, much less for better sex. She says the ingredients in herbal ecstasy amount to a whole lot of caffeine. You put all those together with, it, with another herb like Ma Wong, and uh, it just cannot be good for you. The Food and Drug Administration is also concerned about Ma Wong and another ecstasy ingredient, cola nut. It's received more than 100 reports of adverse reactions that range from dizziness and headaches to heart attacks, strokes, and seizures. The FDA says the combination of Ma Wong and cola nut can cause severe injury to people, even under conditions of usual or recommended use. The makers of herbal ecstasy say the product does warn people with pre-existing health conditions not to use it, and they say the pills should only be taken occasionally. And despite thousands of customers, they say there have been very few complaints. Myself, personally, I'm confident as a distributor for the product because I've taken it a lot of times, and I have had no side effects or any problem with it at all. But even its supporters admit herbal ecstasy is relatively new and very little research has been done on it. The FDA and the Drug Enforcement Agency are both looking into it, but despite the warnings, herbal ecstasy is getting more and more popular. I would tell people, uh, go out and uh, have a cup of coffee for 50 cents and save yourself some money and uh, don't delude yourself that you're getting something really uh, unique. Although herbal ecstasy is promoted as a nutritional supplement, the herbalist we've talked to says it, it is not part of the herbal product or natural foods industry. She says the herbs and herbal ecstasy can be good for you if used properly. It's not part of the natural foods, but it's also not mandated by the FDA. Where exactly, it falls under the, f the food dietary yeah. supplement category, which means it doesn't have to be approved before it's sold, and that's what makes things tricky. The FDA uh, can only monitor it right now. If there is a problem, then they can take action. All right. All right. Thank you.